All right, let's hear from the opposition. My name is Richard Marion. I reside 2073 Castleway Lane uh, in the Amboy subdivision. We're handing you a 20 page memorandum that further details the issues. We seek that this memorandum be part of the record. Several other citizens, including Katie Irwin, have submitted correspondence to you, which we want to be part of the record as well. I'm going to jump right to the last planning commission on November 6, 2014, when one of the planning commissioners asked, not get the zoning change to RNCD, will you continue to pursue this development under R100? The developer's legal counsel responded by saying no. Uh, when the developer's legal counsel withdrew the application for rezoning a meeting on November 18th, he had made no indication to the board, to the community councils, and to anybody else that they would not pursue the R100 block because it was not economically feasible. Uh, after the meeting, one of the concerned citizens approached the developer's council and they to see if they were still going to require the uh, acquired property, and they said, we're going to start pulling permits next week and move forward with the project. Furthermore, the community has become aware that the key principles of Arrowhead, the developer, declared bankruptcy in 2013 and 2012 and were discharged without personal responsibility to pay over $100 million in debt personal guarantees occurred in connection with the residential project. A sketch flat process currently taking place should not be allowed to play a role in exposing citizens and surrounding communities uh, to the risk of being left with a track that has been clear cut and a field failed development due to poor design violates the state of Georgia law and has an absence of economic viability which the developers themselves have stated. We're going to jump right to what we believe are violent sketch plat violations. According to county code, subdivisions are to be laid out in one, avoid adversely affecting water courses, groundwater, and aquifer recharge, minimize cut to fill, minimize impervious cover, minimize adverse effects of noise, drainage, utilities. There's little evidence these provisions have been incorporated into the sketch plat with these requirements. According to the proposed street layout and positioning lots, it's clear the requirements were sacrificed in order to maximize the number of lots that be squeezed onto the property. Two, open space. R100 developments are supposed to have 20% requirements of open space. This is documented in the memorandum. The statutes are listed in the memorandum, and I'm not going to go into them because I only have five minutes. Flood mitigation. The proposed plat is in violation of several state of Georgia laws concerning the state waters and intermittent streams. There are several people that will have standing. Dr. Vincent Verhill, whose address is 2073, has an intermittent stream under his property on the west side of the property that has been developed by an intermittent stream on the property. I'm also going to talk about sketch plat violations, retention ponds, planning office of DeKalb County has indicated proposed plat and stormwater does not meet uh, development and regulatory code requirements. Traffic and safety concerns. The, the sketch plat does not show the curb cuts for the uh, uh, 10 or so homes that are planned along our uh, Lake Road. The immediate area includes Lakeside High School, Twin Lakes Swim and Tennis Club, and Briar Lake Elementary School to the south. There is heavy pedestrian traffic along this road and children and adults. The number of the sketch plot makes no attempt to minimize the number of curb cuts along Rara Lake Road and creates a public hazard. Ecological issues. The United States Department of Agriculture and the United States Forest Service has been able to identify numerous specimen, tree, specimen trees and classify this track as an old growth forest. Um, we seek the enforcement of the county ordinance, but we also seek a tree and preservation canopy plan to be considered.
consistent with federal standards as outlined by the U.S. Forest Service. Stay at stormwater management, number seven. Uh, Cab County needs to address the Georgia Stormwater Management Manual. And eight, almost more, most importantly, the Conservation Fund is now working with Cab County, uh, Parks and Rec, they're working with Commissioner Rader, they're working with the Alliance, and we seek time. While we applaud the decision of the Planning Department to uh, seek a delay, we would like to uh, have uh, the Planning Commission uphold all federal, state, and local laws, um, and we think this sketch plan violates numbers, numerous things, as outlined in the memorandum. Mm -hmm.